Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you think three friends can all work together to make something great? Some yeses and some noes, Bear. Well, paint splatters red, yellow, and blue are used to painting all by themselves. Each one likes working alone. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what will happen now if red, yellow, and blue try working together. Splatter by Diane Alber. This is a story of a colorful crew made from paint splatters of red, yellow, and blue. Each of them had an artistic flair with splotches and blotches and spiky wet hair. But this crew was different from most that you'd see. They each worked alone not together as three. One color per drawing is how they'd each play, never knowing there could be a much better way. Then one lovely morning, Red gathered the crew and said with excitement, let's try something new. Instead of us painting so far apart, why don't we work on the same piece of art? They loved the idea and yelled out, we're in! What do we do first? Where do we begin? They were so happy they all could finally agree. Then Blue shouted out, I'll go first, follow me. He began to create, but got carried away, painting raindrops all over, so the rest couldn't play. The other two grumbled, this just isn't fair. We sat here waiting while you splashed everywhere. But Yellow decided to not be so glum. He still wanted to see what they all could become. So he grabbed some fresh paper to start something new. But when he began, he forgot the rest too. He made a bright sun that filled the whole space, not seeing the frown that formed on Blue's face. I wanted to play too, he complained with a pout, but each time we try, it just doesn't work out. I'm so sorry, Red. I know this was your dream, but as you can see, we can't work as a team. I know this is hard, Red said, but don't quit. We must try again. Please get up, don't sit. I know this will work. I believe in our crew. We'll make something great and we'll have fun too. I've got some more paper, Red smiled and exclaimed. When we finish our painting, it will surely get framed. We can do something simple. We can use all our powers. Have you ever tried painting a garden of flowers? Yellow and blue always painted the sky. A garden was different, and they were 
quite scared to try. Red tried to help and said, it's easy to do. If you can paint circles, you can paint flowers too. Each petal's an oval, a circle stretched long. Now paint a whole bunch. You just can't go wrong. So they built up the courage to give it a shot. This is easy, Blue said. It's like painting a dot. Yellow was pleased and high-fived his friend Blue. And to their surprise, they created green too. Soon they made orange from yellow and red. Then violet showed too when red and blue spread. Next came indigo, a deep navy hue. It happened when violet dashed quickly by blue. But something was missing. The sky wasn't right. It was missing some color. It was all just so white. So blue filled the sky and yellow made the sun. And together they cheered. Wow, teamwork is fun. Look what they created when they all worked together. The art was so beautiful and it was better than ever. Bears wondering, did you enjoy seeing more than just three colors in the garden painting? Lots of yeses. Well, Bear's asking, even though red, yellow, and blue were beautiful on their own, do you think they had fun seeing how many more colors they could make together? Hmm. Well, Bear says he's glad that blue and yellow, as a team, can make grass green. <laughs> Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in teaming up. Bye for now. Please subscribe.